Welcome to working with Illustrator and working with calligraphy. Now, Illustrator has a, gr a great selection of type, from type kit to, um, to working with and merging type from existing type, but sometimes it's really good to create your own. And um, the good old ways they used to do it and from the old illuminated manuscripts, of course, with a, a brush or a calligraphy pen. So why can't we do that in vectors? So that's what we're going to do for this example. So the first thing I'm going to do is just under um, view here, I'm just going to bring up um, my rulers, show rulers. And what I want to do is just set myself, just go to the black pointer tool here, basically just some um, lines to work with um, my X height through to, um, or ascender through to descend, descender, etc. So I might just grab that in like so, and even just do a descender down the bottom. Okay, so just doing this quite loosely, just on the fly, but just want to show you an easy way of setting up, basically, for doing calligraphy. I'm just going to go into my default settings here, and um, what I want to do is basically set up a calligraphy brush. So you can do it with the brush, but actually it's quite good with this, the uh, blob brush, actually, which is just shift B here, or just uh, clicking on it. I'm going to double click it on, on, in fact. So here's the standard setting, and I've just left it in the standard setting of fidelity from smooth and accurate, and that's all pretty good to actually work with. Um, and here's the size of it. It's basically about 14 point at this stage. Maybe I need to bring it up a little bit in height, so we see what we're getting here. Uh, a calligraphy brush or pen, you generally work at about a 45 degree angle, and it's sort of a sort of a calligraphy shape. So all you need to do is basically just drag it down here like so. So you see what we're getting? And then I'm just going to bring it up to, hmm, let's see what angle is going to be good here. I think it'd be maybe 45, what I mentioned. Or close to it, I could just type it in. 44 looks spot on. I'll just make it a little bit bigger there and uh, just bring the size up a little bit. Okay, so you've also got a round this sort of shape here, you can control it. But I think I'll leave it quite thin at about 27 and I'm going to go OK. Okay, so I've got the brush there now, it's a little bit too big. I might just use my Bracket keys, left or right bracket to right bracket to bring it up, left bracket to bring it down a little bit, and that's probably a little bit too big. Still, might just bring it down to about that size. Okay, now it's obviously something you have to play around with, depending on the size of paper you're working with, but uh, let's just have a little bit of a look at it. Okay, so I'm just going to do something that just gives it a bit of a test here. Okay, so well, that's really quite thick. So if I bring this in. As you can see, you can actually get some nice effects here. Now I'm going to, you know, drop it down to a smaller size. Now it's great to have a range of calligraphy pens, and why not have a range of calligraphy brushes? You can actually really do whatever you want. I'm going to drop it down even smaller, and um, I'm just going to bring this in and just start. Working like I would with calligraphy, so that's sort of how, how you actually sort of can put that together. And um, quite easily, you've got a calligraphy shape that you can work with. Um, it could look, get a little bit uh, sharper around the edge there, but it's a beautiful, rich shape. And of course, it's vectors, it's totally scalable to use any way you want. So that's just a quick example of setting up your brush or your blob brush to work with calligraphy. Thanks for watching.